Did you know most microphones have the same exact parts inside? They use a condenser capsule, which has a membrane, which can then capture sound waves through the air and turn them into electrical signals. Most of the capsules that create those membranes are relatively inexpensive. If that's the case, why is this Elgato Wave 3 $150 and this Seven Rhymes SRAT10 is $40? How much of a difference is there here? Let's listen to the sounds and try and figure it out. I mean, they're both condenser capsule microphones. Shouldn't that sound pretty similar? Here we have the Elgato Wave 3 microphone. It's a condenser capsule microphone that has digital governance on top of it to ensure my levels are set correctly, it doesn't peak, and I don't really get any issues with the microphone. This is what I really love about it. It's a clean sound, I don't have to do much work in post, and I'm able to just record my voiceovers and move on. Next up, we have the Seven Rhymes SR-80-10. This is a budget microphone costing only 20% of the Elgato setup once you add the pop filter. That's pretty phenomenal. The sound may not be as crystal, crystal clear as the Elgato, but it also doesn't have all the digital processing on it, which you can do yourself pretty easily in DaVinci Resolve. As you can hear, there is a difference in the way that the sound is produced out of these microphones. I'd venture to guess that the condenser capsule inside the Wave 3 picks up a little bit more sound. And the same thing would happen if you went and found a $5,000 Neumann microphone. But for $40, I gotta say, I don't think this SRAT10 is something to be overlooked. If you're some of the audio engineers that help me out with tips on this channel, <laughs> you're not gonna like it at all. But it comes down to your use case. And with the use case of streaming, I think the SR-AT10 is a great choice. 